everyone, welcome to my craft room. Today I'll be making a nautical rowboat wall decor. I did get the idea for the oars from Jay Monet. I love her channel, she's great inspiration to me, and I'll link that video down below in my description area if you want to go check her out. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I do upload a new video. And if you like my videos, give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel to grow. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that I use to make this project. If you don't have a cutting machine, you can use transfers, decals, stickers, anything of your choice. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is get my oars painted. And I'm going to use this leftover paint that I already mixed with water from a different project. And I also have this color, and this is Sky, and this is the blue acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. First thing I'm going to do sides. And don't forget the, the sides of the oar. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I think I want it a little darker, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little more. soak in as much as possible. So I'll just keep brushing and wiping until I get it the color that I am happy with and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my oars painted. So now I'm going to add the jute. 
so I'm just going to take a good sized piece and I'm just going to burn off the little hairs. Be careful if you do this. I don't want you to get burned. I love that smell. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap, I think I'm going to wrap this part first. I'll find which side I like the best. So I think I like this side best, so. This is gonna be my front. enough and it's not. So I'm gonna get another good sized piece. I think I want to well, let me push it up since it came apart. <laughs> let me wrap that a little bit tighter. Oh, and I just want to give you all a heads up too. Um, I think if I would have sanded these wood spoons or flippers, whatever they're called, <laughs> if I would have sanded it just a little bit, I think the paint would have stuck a lot better because I did have to go over it a couple times. Oh, 
It just doesn't want to work for me. Start up a little higher. There we go. There it is. I'm trying to decide if I want the crisscross on the front too. I mean, on the top too. And you know, I think I do. So I'm gonna put crisscross on the top. I'm going to start here. Yeah, that works much better. Where am I going with this? <laughs> Down. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, there we go. And so a little bit. So I'm going to snip this off once it dries, and then I will wrap the other one, and I'll be right back. I need to paint the anchor um, that I want to use, and I'm going to play around with these colors because I, I don't want it exactly like the oars. I think I'm going to uh, use a little bit of the Waverly Chalk Paint in Elephant. So... I think I'm going to start off with the lighter color. I'm going to let that dry a sec. And meanwhile, I will go paint my little square wood block white. And I'll be right back. Okay, so it's pretty dry. So now I'm just going to barely, barely put any of this blue on here. Hmm. 
best tools are our fingers, right? And our hands. <laughs> just to kind of match my wording a little more, make it more cohesive. So hopefully this isn't going too thick. There we go. Just going in one direction. And that's all I'm going to do to that. There we go. Okay, so now my pieces are dry. And I want to place my pieces on here. So I can eyeball where I, I want to put my words. So... I think I like it at the bottom there. Okay, so I think this is where I want to place my oars and I would anchor here. So now I have to figure out where to put my words. So I think that looks good. I'll put it something like that. So I'll get my words ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did play around with it and I ended up putting the anchor back up on the top. I do like that much better. Um, so I've got everything placed. I did, if you were wondering what the little box was for, it was to pop this, uh, this oar up so it's sitting flush and it has something to make contact with when I do go to glue it. So now that I've got my letters where I want them, I'm going, I can remove the oars. Okay, so hopefully I can do this straight. So that looks pretty good to me. So grab my word here. And there's the hope. I do save these little pieces for other projects. You can use that tape a couple times. So I'll get my other letters back on and or back on. I should on. I should say not back on. <laughs> so anyway, yes. Let me work on this and won't bore you with the tedious work of. Placing my words. Okay, so I got my letters on. And now it's time to glue it all together. So I'll start with the anchor. Figure out where it's going to make contact on here. So it looks like right here and right up here. Pick all the glue there, and right there it looks like. Hopefully that 
keeps that on there. I would suggest using some E6000 um, for the anchor. Well, all of it actually, uh, if you want, you know, a really good hold. But for now, I'm just going to use the hot glue. So, getting on. Looks like I'm going to make contact here. And here. Stick that in there just to give it somewhere to stick. If I want to put these shells on. I did end up using four of the seashells. I did have a little spot of uh, paint that came up. So instead of touching it up, I did uh, use a shell. You'll see that at the end. I'll just touch this little piece up with some paint. I'm afraid to scratch it, it might just pull up more. So there it is. I usually use command strips to hang up my wall decor, but you can always use some jute and uh, glue a little loop on the back to make a hanger. 
that would work just fine. These colors really match uh, my back room really well. I hope you liked my project today. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.